good morning welcome to a brand new vlog welcome to another gloomy freaking day in this vlog i wanted to pick a topic because i feel like my vlogs have been a little all over the place and maybe even a little bit boring and i can say that because they're my vlogs. I've been getting a lot of questions about my hair. Now, I recently changed up my hair routine. This is what works for me. I personally have fine hair, but a lot of it. I also have color treated hair that really needs to be treated again. My roots are really grown out, but in all honesty, I don't know what I want to do with my hair. A part of me wants to go more of like a honey brown, but every time I go brown, I absolutely hate it. But then every time I go blonde, I don't love it. So I've just been in this weird, I can't decide. And so my roots are two inches long. I work from home on Wednesdays. So this is the perfect day for me to wake up early, let my scalp marinate in some good rosemary oil before washing it. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not a hair anything. I'm just Someone who really enjoys beauty and testing and trying things and I've been hair oiling for over is it over a year now? I've noticed such a difference. My hair is so much healthier. I do color treat my hair and this has just helped it so, so much. I just brushed my hair to get all of the knots out of it. I'm gonna do a timer for three minutes and I'm gonna take this bamboo brush. I will link everything down below. I purchased all of these items on Amazon. Bamboo brush has thicker bristles that help to stimulate the hair follicles in the hair to help them grow. I'm gonna time this for three minutes. I'm not going through the ends. Do you see what I'm doing? It doesn't need to be like that serious, but if you wanna get the full potential out of it, I'm keeping it to my scalp, you see? To the end of my head, lift and back to the front. And I'll speed this along so we're not here all day. Done with the bamboo brush. When you brush your hair, this might seem like common sense. Brush it from the bottom and then go to the top so that you're not ripping your hair out. I brush my hair in between each step so that knots do not accumulate and then I end up ripping my hair out. I'm gonna mix some rosemary, mint, scalp, and hair strengthening oil with jojoba oil. I'm taking my rosemary oil and I'm not really like particular with how much I use. I would say I use between like five and six drops. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I think that was like eight. I'm gonna do five of jojoba oil and I'm gonna mix it in my hands like this. Run my fingers through my scalp. And for me, I like to focus right here because I don't know if you can see, but my hairline's a little weird. I don't really have a widow's peak. I don't know what it is. It's just like an uneven hairline. And as we get older, this starts to get, see how you can like, it's a little thin in there. So I do like to focus here, but I'm putting it all over my scalp using my fingers. And then you can use your palm and I'm just gonna comb my hair. I'm gonna go in with this torture contraption. It's not, it doesn't hurt. These are literal like rubber spikes and get your timer, however you use the timer. And now I'm gonna do five minutes on the clock. I'm gonna massage this oil into my hair, into my scalp. I'm not using a lot of pressure. This feels really nice. It's just like a moment to yourself, a nice little scalp massage, getting the entirety of my head. So not just the hairline, but I do like to focus on the hairline. And then I go to the back of my head. And again, I'm just giving myself a little massage for five minutes. Be gentle with your hair. Your hair is a lot more fragile, I think, than most people realize. Last but not least, I'm gonna take argan oil. I use this multiple times a week on the ends of my hair. This is just to help condition your ends so you don't get split ends. Full disclosure, I have not gotten my hair colored. I have not gotten a haircut since August. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna take about five drops, rub them between my palms and then I'm just gonna apply it to the ends of my hair. And I really desperately need a haircut just because I've gotten to the point, and I think most of us know this, where like where your hair is so long that I need to style it. So I'm gonna show you my styling routines in this video, um, but I have to style it. Otherwise it looks very like stringy on the ends. It's not really dead and I honestly don't have a lot of split ends. I'm just focusing on the ends of my hair. One last time brush my hair just to get rid of the knots and to evenly distribute all of that stuff. 
I've been doing this hair oiling routine for a really long time, but I did not come up with it. I found this on TikTok and it is by Isabella Kate. I will link her information down below. I did take her step by step with the bamboo brush, all that kind of stuff. And then I did my own research and that's how I chose the exact kind of oils that I chose for my hair. So I'm gonna now use my timer again because your timer is your best friend in this routine. And I'm gonna set a timer for three hours. That's how long I like to keep the oil in my scalp. I also wanna mention I am still doing my collagen coffee. So that helps with hair, skin and nails and joints. So that's something that I do for my hair. And I'm also still taking Halo Beauty hair, skin and nails. That's Tati Westbrook's brand. So those are supplements that I take for my hair. I also just think it's important to stay hydrated for all aspects of your being. I think that water is your best beauty companion. I also think a lot of it is genetics and I hate to say that to you, but I'm not gonna sit here and like totally lie. I've had nice hair my whole life. I find that my hair naturally grows pretty quickly and I don't have straight hair. I don't have curly hair. I have like a nice in-between wave. My hair does tend to get frizzy. My scalp used to get a lot more oily than it does now. I used to wash my hair every other day. I kind of trained my scalp to get less oily. So again, any questions you have, leave them down below. Knots are the enemy, my friends. And also this is good for your drain. And then I just run my fingers through to remove any hair straggles, which there weren't really too many. I double cleanse my hair. So first I use tea tree special shampoo. This is good for color treated hair. And I like tea tree oil because it is a natural cleanser. So it helps to really clean my scalp. And pro tip, when you are washing your hair, I used to do this. And so I can only assume that other people do this, but I would lather it between my hands. And then I kind of just like wash my hair like this. No, you want to like get in there and like scrub the scalp. This way you're breaking up any of the dirt that is encrusted into your scalp. Disgusting, I know. So I go in with this. I use about, I would say like a dime size. I don't use too much. And then I go in with a different shampoo. This is Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell, can't speak. Super strong shampoo. It's supposed to help strengthen and rebuild your hair. Again, I am no hair connoisseur, but my hair stylist recommended this to me. That is what I do. And again, I use about a dime size scrub it in my hair like I just showed you. And then on Wednesdays after I hair oil, I use this as a little treatment lotion, Kerastase Chroma Absolute. It's basically supposed to help give a shine to your hair. It is very conditioning. There are dose marks on the side and you're supposed to use like a decent amount. You're supposed to use an entire dose. I probably use half. If you use too much, it will make your hair greasy, but upon initial application to your hair and I literally just apply it from here down just the ends of my hair you will feel how soft your hair gets automatically when I see women with like super shiny hair I am automatically drawn to them selling sunset brie her hair is on a whole other level like it is so shiny I want my hair to be that shiny I'm gonna hop in the shower with all of my fangs this is important when you're drying your hair or I like to call it pulling the hair, pulling the hair, pulling the water out of your hair. Do not wring your hair. Twisting, I don't know if you know this, but your hair is the most fragile when it's wet. So you wanna be very gentle. So what I do is, let me position you so that you can see this. Over the sink, I just gently pull the water out of my hair like that. I'm not wringing, I'm not twisting. You could even go like this. No wringing and no twisting. Just go down the hair. I'm gonna take my body towel and I'm gonna pat. Do not go on your hair and go like this to dry it with a towel. Don't do that. I'm taking this towel and I'm patting and lifting. I'm not pulling my hair in the towel. I'm patting, lifting, patting, lifting, Having. Just to get all of the droplets on top of my scalp out. Hair turban, this one is by Aquise. I found a really great dupe on Amazon. I will link both options down below. I just throw my hair in this. There's a button and there's um, a loop. So I put the button on the back of my head like this. Can you see? I don't know if you could see. But I take the button, I put the button on the back of my head. 
and then I loop the hair into the turban like this. I twist my hair in the turban, but I'm not twisting it really tight. It's a loose twist. If you twist it too tight, that's gonna pull on the hair. And also I don't want it to be pulling on my scalp. That will defeat the purpose of all that we just did. If you have your hair turban wrapped too tight and pulling on your scalp, scalp it's gonna create traction alopecia, which is going to move your hairline further back because of that tugging on your hairline. And that's defeating the purpose of me trying to correct my hairline. It's only gonna make it worse. In order to make sure that I'm not doing that, one, again, don't twist it too tight. And then I pull it off of my ears to give a little give up here. I might have to rewrap my hair a couple times. I am planning on wearing this for the next few hours. Take note, I did not brush my hair. I do realize that people have all different types of hair, curly, different texture, all that kind of stuff. I don't know much about curly hair. I only know much about my hair and what works for me and what's worked for me throughout the years. But if you are someone with textured, tight curled hair, I do think that it's okay. And, and again, these are not my rules and it sounds like I'm giving you permission. I'm just telling you what I've read. I've read it's okay to comb your hair when it's wet. But if you're someone that has fine hair that is not tightly wound, I'm tightly wound, but my hair is not tightly wound, then I suggest not combing your hair until it is like 70% dry. This has been in my hair for a little over two hours. So I'm gonna let it air dry for, I'd say like 45 minutes, and then we'll put in some products, comb it out and take it from there. But I just wanted to show you that my hair is still, she's pretty damp, but that's why I like to take it out of this. I like a mix of the towel and then air drying. I find that that just kind of drying works for my hair texture the best. Again, I'm not brushing it. I'm just gonna let it air dry and let us comb the hair, shall we? Also, thanks everyone for telling me I have this huge zit growing on my chin. I could've been wearing a pimple patch this whole time. I'm gonna take this, I love this. It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Light. It's a detangler. It helps to enhance the natural body of your hair, even though I am gonna style my hair. Um, it's supposed to add silkiness, shine, it's humidity resistant, color protectant, helps prevent split ends, and is a thermal, pro I didn't know it was a thermal protector. Interesting, because I use a different thermal protector. I am warning you, if you get this on the floor, it is slippery. So I have a little um, bathroom mat that I put underneath me whenever I spray this so that I don't go flying because I will. Now, I focus this on the ends of my hair, and as you can see, my hair is dry for the most part. I do this side like so, and then I flip it to the other side and I do the same thing. Wet brush from the bottom again, making my way up to the top. I'm gonna put a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Bioterra Renew Leave-In Silky Milk. It is a daily moisture and strength for all hair types. This I spray into my hand because it is a very milky texture. I rub it between my palms. You wanna just apply it to the ends because if you apply it any higher than the ends, it's gonna make your scalp oily, which is gonna cause you to have to wash your hair more, which we don't want. We don't wanna wash our hair more. It's annoying and it's not good to wash your hair. You wanna marinate it in its oils. That sounds so disgusting, but you do. Washing it too much leaves it dry. Now I'm gonna go in with another wet brush, <laughs> a wet comb, I should say, and I'm just gonna comb my hair one more time. I'm gonna take my hair turban and I'm gonna wrap my hair in the hair turban one more time. In my mind, like this is supposed to help with frizz and I feel like it kind of locks all of the moisture into my hair and I didn't put my little light on this entire time. So I do apologize, that's so much better. I'm gonna leave this in for probably like 15 to 20 minutes. Forgot to show you, I took this out, okay? My hair, she's a frizzy. Brush my hair again. Now, if this is too time consuming, you can blow dry your hair. However, that defeats the purpose of the heatless part of this, you know? You know? Even when I do use heat on my hair, I give my hair as much time as I possibly can to air dry. This way, while my hair, when I do use heat on my hair, it's less heat. Does that make sense? I hope that that makes sense. So you could blow dry your hair and then do the heatless curls. 
But like I said, I try and keep it so that I only use heat on my hair literally once a week, even though I wash my hair twice a week. Part your hair where you like to part it. I use either one of these, but again, you do not have to use these exact products, just use a gel. So my gel of choice is IGK Rich Kid. This is the coconut oil gel. Or you can use a mousse. This one I got from my hair stylist. This is a Rojo Styling Whip Argan Infused. I feel like my hair, and this might again not make sense, I feel like my hair is heavy because it's so long, and I feel like a mousse is lighter than a gel. Do we agree or do we agree? I'm not the best hairstylist, okay? I'm really not. So any tips that you have, leave them down below in the comments. My brother bought me this two Christmases ago from Amazon. I will link it down below. You guys have seen this, I'm sure, all over TikTok, but I'm gonna put it in the middle of my hair. I hate the clip because I find that the clip always messes up the top of my hair, but it is necessary when wrapping around the hair. So you're kind I don't know how to French braid, so I'm gonna say this part and I have no right to say it, but it's kind of like French braiding. So I take a bit of hair and I like to use this comb and I wrap it. And then when I come back around, I grab another piece of hair, comb it back and I wrap it. Now I like to comb it and pull it not tight. We don't like too tight, but tight enough because if you do it too loose, I find, and if you don't comb as you go, that's when your hair ends up frizzier than you like it. Because again, we're not using heat here, so the heat is not helping to defrizz. It's just like the wrapping is doing all of the work. The defrizzing, we're relying all on this little wrapping motion. I really hope you can see what I'm doing here. But I'm just wrapping and wrapping. It's gonna take a few times, trial and error for you, to get it how you like. Try with a mousse, try with a gel, see what works best for your hair. Again, we all have different hair. Beauty is a very personal thing. So I'm just now wrapping the end. The tighter you wrap it, the tighter your curls will be. Like that. Okay, voila. This side is harder for me. This side of my hair curls better than this side. I also have more hair on this side for some reason. And like the wrapping, just my arms don't work this way. So <laughs> bear with me here. My hair is like, I would say 90% dry. Scrunchy. This kit comes with the tube, the ties, and the clip. I like to take this out just because I'm not sleeping with this in my hair. This clip just does all the things that you don't want it to do. I don't know if you could see that, but I don't want my hair to look like that up top. A lot of people sleep with this in their hair. This is commonly referred to as like overnight heatless curls. For me, I don't like to sleep with this in my head. I find that a few things. One, you need to wear the clip in your hair because if you don't clip it in your hair, this is not gonna stay in place and it's gonna end up all wonky. Two, I don't like the clip in my hair because as I'm rolling around, again, it creates those kinks, but also I'm afraid that it's gonna break. Like I'm gonna get more breakage in my hair and I don't need any more because again, I do dye my hair. This is just my take. You could do whatever you want. If you wanna sleep with it, cool. If you don't want to sleep with it then you can follow along with me and I'm probably gonna take this out probably right before I go to bed it's 5 30 so I have some time to leave this in I'll probably leave this in until like nine o'clock we'll spray it and then I'll tell you guys like how I sleep at night here's it in the back while my hair sits in here oh my god the lighting in this kitchen like even this light will not help me but anyway i really need to clean my brushes i got all my brushes here and you can also wash things that you wear in your hair all the time for me i constantly wear these scrunchy clips i like to take the hair out of my brushes i followed this this man he's a hairstylist i think his name is chris i will put his video down below it is a very in-depth video on how to clean your brushes i literally clean my brushes the way that he says to clean your brushes teasing comb like this i don't tease my hair so i literally only use it for this i got this on amazon i will link it down below but what you do is you just run it through the brush like this basically bunch all the hair up to the top and then you can pull it out i got this bucket on amazon i'm just gonna fill it with hot water 
I'm just gonna use Dawn. You can use shampoo. A sprinkle of that in there. Leave my brush face down. I'm gonna put all the things I use in my hair. If you're someone that suffers with oily hair, your hair is gonna continue to be oily if you keep brushing your hair with dirty brushes that have leftover oil from your scalp, that have leftover product that you've put in your hair. So again, down, down. You can fill it some more. Let this sit in the sink for about 10 minutes. Apologies for the terrible lighting. In our next home, my goal is to get a light above the sink. I'm gonna dump this, rinse my brushes. That water is so dirty. It's disgusting. Lay my hairbrushes face down. Dry them off like such. And now my brushes are clean. This is nice because now my utensils are nice and clean for my clean hair. So thumbs up. I shouldn't really keep this in longer because my hair I can still feel is like, I don't know how my hair is still a little bit damp, but I'm tired. I wanna put my jammies on and I wanna go to bed. So. I'm gonna take it out. You can use whatever hairspray you want. This is Tresemme Strongholds with Touchable Feel. It is their four extra hold strength. Spray the front like so, so, and then spray the back. Take my little clips out. Clips, my scrunchies, I'm very tired. I really need to go to bed. Pull it from the top. And this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna brush it out tonight. I wanna keep my hair kinda like this while I sleep. So when I sleep at night with my hair like this, I will pull my hair to the front just like this and sleep on my back so that my curls don't flatten. Because if you sleep on your curls, they will flatten. So I'm gonna, again, keep them like this. When I get into bed, I will literally like twirl my hair like this and then lay like a zombie. Is that like a zombie? You know, I don't know what I'm saying. I will lay and sleep. Good morning. You can hear the garbage trucks outside, so ignore that. We must move on. I must go work out. My glasses are in the way. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure it's split down the middle. I'm gonna just twist my hair like this. Take my clip that we washed last night. Let's clip her to the other side. Make sure you're curling it in the direction which you curled it. So that's out for me. Clip it up top of my head like that. And now I'm gonna go work out, post-workout. My hair looks fabulous. <laughs> Just let my hair out. This is too big to fit in my shower cap. So I then move on to this clip, which I should have washed yesterday, but totally slipped my mind. I'm not really gonna do anything to it, but lift it like this and just pin it like this. Shower cap, tuck the bottom in, the sides in, and now I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna unclip my hair. Sometimes I just comb the top and I don't comb through the curls. This will help your curls last longer. So I'll just comb the top of my head like this. And then I like to comb underneath because that's where I tend to get knotted. You want to use a comb, not a brush. Take it from the bottom. The wider the tooth of the comb, the better. And I'm just going to brush it like that. See how it just gives like a little bit of a kink? This is the hair. It's better than nothing. I didn't use any heat on it, so it was hair healthy, friendly. You could go ahead and spray with hairspray. I do that sometimes, but today I don't feel like it. I'm just gonna let my hair do its thing. I don't wanna add any more product to it, but if you do spray it with hairspray, these will stay longer. Heatless curls, let me know what you think and let me know if you try it. I'm gonna take some hair oil. I do this once a day. I have literally been working from home all day and I was lazy and I honestly haven't even brushed my hair. So Mike and I are going out to dinner. I'm gonna take one pump. I'll show you on one side. It just makes it look silkier. Like, can you see how that just looks softer this side as opposed to this side? And I focus it on the ends. I'll run my hands through it one more time because I still have oil on here. To just like make it look a little bit like piecier. And 
and softer. And this, my friends, is day two hair. It's been a gloomy day. I feel like I didn't wake up all day today, but this is the hair. This is the fit. Jeans, green sweatshirt, Converse sneakers. Mike got me for Christmas and my vintage Gucci bag. I really just like showing off my outfits. I don't know. I feel like my closet, it is in a good spot. It hasn't been in a good spot in a while. So I'm just like really enjoying my winter wardrobe, which normally I hate winter clothes. And the lip I'm wearing tonight, my 001 lip glow. I'm not really wearing any makeup, fresh faced. I, I drew my brows on a little bit, but only because I had to pluck them today. I fill them in before plucking them so I know what to pluck and what not to pluck. I told Mike we'd leave at six and now it's 623. I'm off to yoga this morning and I just wanna show you, this is the only way I comb my hair after I style it is using this wide toothed comb. Yeah, I don't really do that much on my hair. I treat it mainly the days that I wash it like you guys saw. The rest of the days I kinda just comb it out like this. I could put a little bit more oil in, but honestly my hair feels and it looks really, like do you see how shiny it looks? And it feels super soft. So I'm not gonna add more hair oil in. It is Saturday, but I have like a jam packed Saturday. I'm on my way to go to a yoga class with my sister-in-law and then Mike and I are going to my grandma's to have lunch. So it's kind of a busy day. I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair today. Um, so I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow instead. So I don't want to put too much oil in the ends of my hair because I want my hair to last today. I'm off to yoga. I forgot to tell you, I forgot to mention, when I'm working out, I'm gonna bring um, a slip scrunchie and I'm just gonna put my hair up like this, but I really gotta go, so let's go. I got my hair done, surprise. So Mike and I have a lot of travel plans coming up and in order for me to look my best during our travel vacations, I needed to get my hair done. But I didn't want to get my hair done this week. I wanted to get my hair done next week or the week after. And yesterday when I called the salon, I asked for my girl and the receptionist was basically like, either you can come in today at 11.30 or she's going to be gone for like a month. Now we all saw my roots, okay? I don't know what my hair would look like in a month, so I rushed in yesterday and I went in and I basically had no idea what I wanted to do. And all I told her is that I like my roots to be darker than the rest of my hair because I really like me with a lighter shade of hair. But I think when my roots are light too, it like washes me out. You see, you see, this just like looks more natural kind of. So instead of doing a full head of highlights, which is what I normally do, she did a painting. I think we cut, she cut off, I say we like we did it, but my hair is still really long. She cut off like an inch and a half from the bottom, but like, look, we're still really long. We're not like stringy. Well, I feel like we're still kind of stringy at the bottom, but not as stringy. I do apologize, but since this is a hair vlog, you got to see the before and the after. But this is the new hair. Let me know what you think. I got hair painting, which I'm pretty sure is also called balayage. Um, and she did take some pictures. So if she posts them on Instagram, I will link her Instagram down below, Samantha. Love her. She's great. Um, brilliant at what she does. My hair looks so natural in real life. It literally looks like my hair looked like yesterday, but like brought up and revived. And I don't know if you can see, but like how much dimension is in my hair. Like when she was blowing my hair out yesterday in the salon light, like some of it is so blonde. It's like a cool toned blonde. So it kind of leans blue, which I'm neutral. So I look good with neutral blondes, but I, I don't look good with um like an orangey warm, like warm washes me out. But I just feel like the color looks really good. This is the new hair, new hair, who dis? Um, and let me know what you think. And we will get back to our pre, Parade, our paid programming ASAP.